section 3. Go inside. Define a simple Python program. In Python, inside a block, every statement should be indented. Every statement inside a block should be indented. Block should not have an opening brace and closing brace. In any other programming languages, we are seeing opening brace and closing brace. Python is not supporting opening brace and closing brace to enclose the statements inside a block. To enclose the statements inside a block, you need to provide indentation. Whatever I am selecting, this is called as an indentation. This indentation can be with one space or two spaces or one tab or two tabs or three spaces, three tabs, any number of spaces or tabs. Whatever statements you are providing inside a block, all that statements should have common indentation. Let us consider, I want to keep one more statement, one more statement. All these statements should have a common indentation. It can be one space, it can be multiple spaces, it can be one tab, it can be multiple tabs. All should be common. If first statement is with one space or one tab, second statement will be with two spaces or two tabs, it won't allow. It is a syntax error. All the statements should be indented with a common space. This is called as an indentation. And if block should start with a colon, if block should start with a colon, as soon as boolean literal got over, it should start with a colon. If then boolean literal, that boolean literal, it can be a plain literal like a true or false, or it can be boolean variable, or it can be boolean expression. Boolean expression, or boolean variable, or boolean literal. Copy the same program, everybody. Go to the test to t2.py. I am just changing from true to false. Now you will be getting output as a 1 and 3 only. The total if block is skipping, the content of the if block not getting executed, the reason is false. If something resulting a true, then executing, resulting a false, not executing. It is very simple for the programmers. It's not a new to you. Definitely you already might have seen in other programming languages. But there is a difference from other programming languages. Only the thing is, while, while keeping multiple statements in the body of the block, we were keeping a opening brace and closing brace. Here, opening brace, closing brace, it won't allow. It won't allow at all. It required a body starting with a colon. Body starting with a colon. The complete body should have a common indentation. That indentation is a mandatory. It can be with one space or more than one space. Rest of the things one and the same. Rest of the things are one and the same. You cannot go ahead with opening brace and closing brace for the boundaries of a body. Always you should keep indentation.
let's see the next one. Okay, let me run this. You can see one and three. Some statements inside a block, I can go for else. Finally, I'll go for 4. Try to save it as a t3.py. Else block should be immediately after a block. <laughs> else block should be immediately after a block. Else block will execute whenever if block is not executing. Whenever if block is not executing, at that time only else block will be executing. Else block is executing whenever if block is not executing. In this scenario, if block executed, that is why else block is skipping. Let me copy the same program, everybody. These are very simple, very, very simple. Let's go for t4.py. Let us make this as a false. So please observe, else block cannot be without a if block. Else block cannot be without a if block. First if block should be, then else block. First if block should be, then else block. First if block, then else block. Else also should have a colon. Body of the else is starting with a colon. After a colon, with a common indentation, you can provide any number of statements. Any number of statements. Else is very optional. It's not a mandatory. For every if block, else doesn't require. Whenever you want to execute something, if if block is not executing, in a condition where if block is not executing, the, you want to execute something, then only else block is required. Else is not a mandatory to execute. Else is not a mandatory to execute. Else is not a mandatory to develop. Else is very optional. In which scenario, else is very much required. If you want to execute something, Whenever if is not executing, then go for else. Else block is very optional. Else should be immediately after if only. You cannot keep a else alone. You cannot keep else alone without a if block. Now if block is not executing, else will be executed. Next one, inside a if block, you can keep another if block. Nesting of the if blocks, nesting of the if block is absolutely possible. Let me go for print of one.
So print of three, print of four, print of five. T five dot P one. This is nesting of the if block. This if block is available in the body of the outer if block. You can consider this selected if block is an inner if block. Inner if block. Nesting is possible to any level. Inside an inner if block, if you really wanted, you can go for another if block. Third level, fourth level, fifth level. Any level of nesting, wherever if block is there, else if block is optional based on your requirement, based on your demand. You can provide a else if block for any if block, no matter whether that if block is a outer if block or inner if block. For any if block, else if block is allowed. Else block is optional based on your demand, based on your logic. Wherever else is required, you can provide a else for any if block. But without a if block, you cannot provide a else block. Else always should be after if. That if can be outer if or inner if or third level if or fourth level if. Now let me compile and run this one. Not compile, only running. So test to five. T5 dot py. One, two, four and five. We are not getting a three. Why we are not getting a three? Three is a part of inner block. Three is a part of inner block. That inner if block is receiving a false inner if block not executing. You can go for else block for inner if block. Let me copy the same program. Let us provide else of print 4. Then I am modifying this as a print 5, print 6. You can go with any output. So please observe, else is belonging to inner if. There is no confusion like whether this else block belonging to inner if or outer if. Through indentation you can easily understand like this else block is belonging to inner if block. Inner if block. So inner if block is receiving a false because of that else block will execute. Let us see what is the output. One, two, four, five, six. Three is not executing. Three is not executing. Why three is not executing if block is receiving a false? Copy the same. <clears throat> I am going for t7.py. Let me go for true here also. Nested if block can take independently true or false without depending on outer if block. Without depending on outer if block.
it's straightforward. Inner block receiving a true, else will not be executing. Inner block is receiving a true, else is not executing. You are not getting a 4. 4 is from the else block. 4 is from else block. There is no confusion like else block belonging to which block. This is the else block. This is belonging to the immediate block in the upper side. In the upper side, immediate block is this. Through indentation, you can easily understand to which block else block is belonging. Copy the same content. Let me go for outer block as a false. What is happening here? Outer block receiving a false. No matter inner block is receiving a true or not, this complete body is skipping. You will be getting output as a only 1 and 6. Output as only one and six. One and six. Come to the next one. Now total if block is kept, for that if block, there is no corresponding else block. Let me provide corresponding else block. Please option. Through indentation, you can easily understand. Which else block belonging to which if block. Else block is very optional. Else block is very optional. Else block is very optional. I am keeping else block. For even outer block also. For inner block there is a else. For outer if also there is a else. Now outer if block completely skipping. Going to the else block of outer if block. That is print 6. You will get a 1, 6, 7. This is all about if block alone. If with a else block, inside a if block, nested if block alone, even inside a if block, nested if block along with the else block, along with the else block. So these points are very simple. You might have seen in different programming languages. It's one and the same except syntax. Let's see another point. Print of one if block <coughs> print of two. Let's go for yellow.
1, 2, 3 and 4. What is LF? <coughs> if block is tying with the else block, LF is nothing but a combination of else with the if. Else block, it won't execute straight away. It has to check with the condition. Please observe. Else block with a if block condition is called as a LF. Whenever if block is executing, it won't attempt to, to execute else. It won't attempt to, to execute else. Even though else if is receiving a true, else if is receiving a true, control will not be going to the print 3. You will get only output as a 1, 2, 4. Please check it out. One, two, four. So we are not getting a three. Please observe very properly. Whenever if block is executing, it won't go to the else. This is nothing but else with a combination of if. Else is not a default here. To execute a else, it has to pass if. To execute a else, it has to pass with a if. That is why. That is why. It cannot be considered as a default else. It is considered as a conditional else. Else with a condition. Else with a condition. Even though this condition is a true, control is not reaching to the else because of if block is receiving a true. If block is receiving a true, while executing if block, else is completely skipping. No matter else is receiving a if or other than if. Sorry, no matter else is receiving a true or false, whatever it may be. Now else not attempted to execute. Else not attempted to execute even though else is tied with a if block as a true. That is why we are getting 1, 2, 4. Copy the same. I do little change. T eleven dot P one. Now, if block is receiving a false, if block is receiving a false, it is going to the else, but else is with a condition as if. Fortunately, that if is receiving a true, that is why control going to print 3. Control going to print 3. So, you are getting a print 1, print 3, print 4. You are not getting print 2. Try to run. One, three, four.
Copy the same example. I'm saving as a one two dot py. Let's go for calls here also. So please observe, if block is receiving a false coming to the else, but else is a tied with a if block that is also receiving a false. So no two, no three, only one and four. Only one and four. Come to the next one. Observe this point, guys. If he is receiving a false, that is why looking to go to the else. But else is not a default. It is also tied with a if condition. That if condition also receiving a false. Come on. So generally else block, generally else block will not be any condition. If you go for else with a condition, that should be represented through elif. In other programming languages, same is called as a else if. But in Python, it is with elif. Copy. <laughs> else block always should be the last block. This else block is if block whichever assigned to the else. This is the if block. Then for this particular if block, this is the else block. Whatever I selected, these two becoming, these two becoming a pair. If fund else. So please observe, if block is receiving a false, going to the else. But unfortunately, else is a tied with a if block, receiving a false. For this if block, corresponding else block is this. Corresponding else block. Try to run. You are getting a 1, 4 and a 5. 1, 4 and a 5. You can experiment with different combinations. Copy the same example. One four dot py. Let me go for this as a true. I just modified little. Please observe. So please observe. If block is receiving a false, it has to go to the else if. Else if is receiving a true, it is printing 3. Once this if block is executing, it won't execute. Come on. This else block is only for this if block, not for this if block. Observe this point.
for this particular block, assume for this particular block, else is this one. But this else is also assigned with a if. For that particular if, there is a else. Now, this if block is executing, this else won't execute. Let us see. We are getting 1, 3 and 5. 1, 3 and 5. We are not getting a 4. We are not getting a 4. Copy the same. One five dot py Let me go for this itself as a two. So please observe what is going on here. If block is receiving a true, it's not going to the else. Even though this else block is receiving a if with a true, this completely will not be attempted to execute. This complete portion is skipping. This portion is belonging to even else. Whatever I selected, it is completely skipping. Observe one point. If block started, for this if block, this is the else block. This else block is tied with a if block. For this if block, there is a corresponding else block. Now you can consider all these statements are series of blocks. First if block, then else with a if block. For that if block, there is a else block. The series of blocks. In this type of series of blocks, Maximum one block only will execute. <coughs> only one block will execute. More than one block will not be executing. First it received a true. It is executing. Then what is the need of going to the else? No matter else is with a if of true or if of false. Whatever it may be. This complete portion is skipping. Observe this point. This is the else block that is with a if block. That if block is receiving a true. Even though that if block is receiving a true, control is not going to there. Control is not going to there. So if with a true, else is not executing because of the true. Again else. You can see one, two, five. One, two, and then five. <coughs> Three and four both are skipped. Three and four both are skipped. In a series of if elif, a dying elif. Finally, finally, optional else. Only one block will be executing, not more than one. Copy the same. Let me extend it to one more level. So, elif is very important. In most of the cases, we are using elif. Please observe. If is receiving a false. Again, this also receiving a false. Let's go for 16.py.
So here, <coughs> if block is receiving a false, else with a if block also receiving a false. So for this if block, whatever else is assigned, that else is executed. You will get 1, 4 and 5. This combination definitely we might have already seen. Last else block is a default else block. It doesn't have any condition. It doesn't have any condition. Without condition, if control reaching to else, it is executing. If control reaching to the else, then it is executing. Copy the same. Try to save. One seven dot py. Let us make this as a conditional. It's not a else if in other programming languages we are keeping like this. But here it is a elif as a single word, it is a keyword. Totally three blocks are there. All the blocks with the condition. Unfortunately, all the conditions are false. Now, no block is executing. You will get output as a 1 and 5. I already told in a series, maximum 1 block will execute. What is the meaning of maximum 1? It can be 0 or it can be 1. Maximum 1 block will be executing. Now all the blocks are tied with a condition. Every block is assigned with a condition. In a series of if and corresponding elif blocks, maximum one block only will execute. Maximum one block. This is the if block with a false. Because of the false, it is going to the else. Unfortunately, this else is belonging with the if block. This is also receiving a false. If this is receiving a false, it will go to the corresponding else. The corresponding else is this one. Unfortunately, this corresponding else also receiving a if block with a false. So that is why no block is executed. No block is executing. You are getting a 1 and 5. Copy the same program. One eight dot p y <clears throat> Let us provide one more. Sorry. Yeah, print five. Then finally, last one I am making as a six. So now here, 
please observe this else block is belonging to this particular if block this else block is belonging to this particular if block this else block is belonging to this particular if block it's a chain if else if else if else please observe So if block is receiving a false, it is going to the else. But else is not a default, it is tied with the if block. Unfortunately, this if block is receiving a false. Going to corresponding else, this is the corresponding else. Come on. This else block also, not a default, it is tied with a if block. It is tied with a if block. Unfortunately, this if block is receiving a false. It should go to the corresponding else block. It is going to the corresponding else block. But it is a default block. It doesn't have a condition to be passed. That is why control is going to the else block. We are getting 5. 1, 5, 1, 6. 1, 4 and 5. What is this? 18 1 5 and 6 Yellow is very important I'll extend one more guys sorry <laughs> Yellow is very, very important. It's very simple. I totally agree. You might have seen several times in other programming languages. For clear concreteness, for clear concreteness purpose, I'm developing more examples. So please observe. <clears throat> so here it is receiving a true. Somewhere in the middle, one else if, that is yell if, receiving a true. I told very clearly, maximum one block is allowed. Maximum one block is allowed, not more than one block. Maximum one block is allowed, not more than one block. Maximum one block is allowed, not more than one block. Now what is happening here? So control not reaching to the cells block. Why it is not reaching to the cells block? Come on, this F block is receiving a false, going to the corresponding else block. This corresponding else block is tied with a if block. This if block is receiving a true. If at all this if block is receiving a true, this if block will execute. It won't go to the corresponding else. Come on. Control not reach it to line number 6. Line number 8 is a else of line number 6. If control is not reaching to line number 6, then what is the need of executing line number 8? So now we are getting a print 3. Maximum one block will be executing in the series of if and elif. If and elif. Maximum one block. Maximum one block. Not more than one. One, three, and six. One, three, and six. Copy the same.
टू जीरो डॉट पी वाई सो प्लीज अब इट इज रिसीविंग अ फॉल्स बट दिस इज रिसीविंग अ ट्रू find out what is the output what is happening it's almost simple it is almost simple so if he is receiving a false going to the corresponding else it is tied with a if block that if block is receiving a false it is going to the corresponding else that else is receiving if as a true Going to the print of four. Going to the print of four. Once print of four is executing, it won't go to the corresponding else. Maximum one block. Maximum one block. It is not executing more than one block. This time output should be one, four, and six. <coughs> Let's see. One more. All blocks are receiving a true. Some beginners are picking a wrong option. All blocks are receiving a true. Every block is receiving it too. 